Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got a double shot. Double shot. What is it? Two Weedits, everybody says. How does Weller's compare to Maker's Mark? It's a Weeder times two, and we're going to test it! Is it Kansas Wheat style? No. <laughs> Let's test it. <laughs> I'll let you just go, no. <laughs> Be done. I'm like, where did he come up with I that? No, I couldn't think of anything. I was rolling. Sometimes Weeded I'm thinking, style. right? Yeah, I know, but Kansas Wheat style. We're a big wheat state. Oh. Wheat state. Well, I thought you meant because I got the Kansas single barrel of this. No. Which this one isn't. I just meant I was like, Kansas this, I was thinking wheat, this isn't state, the Kansas single barrel. We're the wheat barrel. state, so I figured this should all be in, by the way. Yeah. This is perfect. All right, Scotch God, shout out or comment. Oh. We've got a great we'll one jump coming right in. Jump right into that. Now, did you mix these up so we don't know which no, is which? No, no, no. We can't because we didn't mark them. Right. Wellers is on the right. Got it. Maker's Wellers is on, is on the right. The okay. All right. Because if we'd done that, we'd then have we to mark them and be blind. Then I'd have to watch so it and label it right. on the it's video. A lot of it's a extra. Whole, yeah. A lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of moving ugh. pieces. Ugh. Ugh. Russell. <laughs> Russell comments on the wow. Balvany. Um, he wrote Pete a week. lot. Ooh, that's Pete Monk. 2003 version. Now, there's two editions out. The 2002, which is last year's. The 2003, this year's. We're going to do a comparison mm. of that coming up. But... Mm. Russell comments on the Balvany 2003 14-year-old Pete Week. He says, hi, fellas. On the basis of your review and the many positive comments below, I ordered a bottle of the 2003 expression of this and was very surprised to realize just how much I'd missed in my first encounter with it in that pub in Dufftown. Wow. As I said, I tasted this directly after finishing a meal of haggis and sticky pudding. Big mistake. Now that I've given this a couple of chances in the peace and quiet of my living room in the evening... Which is what I advocate. Yeah. Or, although you, I would say my living room is not the well, peace and quiet. Once everybody goes to bed. Bam. <laughs> That's happened to me several times. <laughs> I mean, I, I've sat down with a whiskey when things are hustling and bustling or we're doing mm -hmm. a live stream yeah. and we taste Your something. house has a lot of hustle. When you go, when it's nice and quiet and you're there's no distractions and you sit down in your favorite chair or your favorite couch with that dram. Mm. Sometimes it just it makes the, a world of difference. Well, yeah, you're more focused. So anyway, that's what Russell did. Perfect. Um, let's see. Do, do, uh, now where, I should have marked info. where I left off. Well, he was in Roy Duff's town. Oh, there it is. He was in Roy Duff's town. Roy Duff is in uh, Glasgow. Oh, he does. Oh, Duff Town. Yeah. No, <laughs> gotcha. oh, they made a town <laughs> off for Duff. That's anyway, the Duff let's clan. get going. Russell right. says, with no distractions around and no food to cloud my palate, I'm really enjoying this and realizing just how much earthy peat smoke has found its way through the distillation mm. and maturation into the glass. True. Yep, you're right about the combination of that big earthy and heathery smoke with the honeyed sweetness from the ex-bourbon barrels. Nice. Very nice indeed. What's great is that both these notes are easily noticeable on both the nose and the palate, making this a very consistent dram of remarkably even quality. Mm. He should write something on the label. And that final touch with the 40%, 48% ABV just sets it up for really enjoyable prolonged tastings. What a right. difference a meal makes when it comes to whiskey. Many thanks again for the excellent review. I would have denied myself this beauty if not for your words of praise. No denial. Cheers. Now, this is one reason on October 19th when we're doing our dinner at the Scotch and Sirloin restaurant. It's our, it's our whiskey event. Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. We have been talking about doing that first. So that we're not mixing it in with the food and everything. Okay. I mean, we talk. That's a good point for yeah, you. Yeah. That's a good tie-in because we've been talking and we think we're going to do the whiskey first and then the hit meal. the food. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Let's moving in. into this. Everybody says, we, well, we've done both of these separately. We've done Maker's right. Mark. It was a long time ago. We, did a, we did a blind bourbon shootout. Learned a lot. It, it, it did really well in the blind bourbon shootout. More recently, we did the Weller Special Reserve. I was surprised by it mm -hmm. for, uh, in, in our area, this is $18. This one's 24 Well, this is a half gallon, but the, the fifth of Maker's Mark is $24. Everybody at, or we had a lot of questions. People want to know, how does Weller's compare to Maker's right. Mark? Right, the special reserve. Yeah, which will be nice because prices are starting to go crazy on the Wellers. Wellers twelve is crazy secondary yes. market, and and personally, Antique I think one hundred seven right. and one hundred seven goes up as well. Yeah, and yeah. and in my opinion, they shouldn't. But you can still get this for a good price. So just as you've got here, we've got the Wellers on the right, and we've got the uh, Maker's Mark on the left. 
Uh, both 45% ABV, Perfect. both a weeded bourbon, hence the comparison. So let's see how they compare let's to each other. start with the Wellers. And I haven't, I haven't sat down with Ooh, these together to beautiful see. Beautiful nose. Caramel, dusty. Mm -hmm. Creamy, smooth, hmm. cinnamons. Get a little bit more acetone on the left. I'd say the nose from the Wellers is better. Mm. Yeah, Maker's Mark does come off a little lighter on right. the nose. That is interesting. I get all the caramels. Maybe, actually, maybe a little sweeter, though. Really? So yeah. I get like a sponge sugar on the nose of the Wellers. And something else. Almost like... Oh, uh, we're almost out of cast three, but 478, 479. 481, 480. The pre-order is going for cast four coins. Go to scotchtestdummies.com. Yeah, you get the uh, both, Spartan helmet. Both really similar, though, noses. Um, I think that wheat, that floralness... Yeah, yeah, I get a bit of the floralness is what I always get from wheat, me personally. More honey type sweetness. Okay. Honeysuckle? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go into the water. Do it. Dive. <laughs> I just heard like the submarine klaxon. Boop, boop. Just dive. <laughs> That's the first sip of whiskey I've had. Today, so I should let that one get in my palate. <laughs> Today, I'm glad. I was like, really? Well, we're going to you were going to say a month. Oh no, <laughs> that's crazy talk. Yeah, a, a year. First sip of whiskey I had this year. Mm. We pretty much set that on Jan one. Hold on, let me cleanse. Wow. Um, the Wellers. To me, I I like weeded bourbons. Yeah, very Hold smooth. On. Your bourbon notes, minus the rye spiciness. Mm -hmm. I mean, you get the caramels, you get cinnamons, you get oak. I get a buttered popcorn on the lingering finish here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's exactly the corn, the cream butter, just lingering for 45 seconds, moving into a minute. I was going to take a sip and cleanse, and I was like, wow, there's a, a pleasant <laughs> trail here. Let me get the fork. Very pleasant. For the injury level from Weller, really good. Hard to beat. Really, really good. And Maker's Mark. A little bit of a dusty corn on the forefront. I'm going to cleanse a little mm -hmm. bit. You know, Maker's Mark seems a little bit richer, a little bit more depth, almost like it's aged a little bit longer. Mm. More honey. Honey, and it seems like it's got a stronger mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. And they're at the same ABV. Mm -hmm. Which I think that's going to come from a little bit more aged. Another year, another two years, maybe in a barrel. Yeah. Maybe two months. I don't know. Extra, <laughs> extra day and a half. Hmm. Very creamy. Buttery, yeah. Buttered corn. Do you get a? I don't quite corn, get the grilled corn. Yeah, grilled corn, That's smothered in butter. It's just <laughs> dripping off. You got that corn and the butter's running down your fingers. So you're holding it. See, it's more it. like a creamed corn here to me. Less mm. like the popcorny. That's they're different. Initially, I'm giving the edge to the maker's mark. We'll go back and forth here a little bit and see, but. Hmm. I like the finish of the Weller Special Reserve a little better. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> you call. <coughs> Excuse me. You called it. The Maker's comes in with a little bit richer mouth feel, feels a little more viscous. The Weller's comes in, a it almost feels a little more, well, it's the, the reason, it's a little more watery. I get those dusty corns on the forefront, and what I've explained on the finish is the same for both. Buttered popcorn and more of a cream corn out of a can kind of corn butter flavor. Interesting. Both hmm. very similar. Um... 
of course, 45%, both wheat and bourbons. And I'm still giving the edge to the maker's mark. Um, as far as finish, I'm going to try with a little bit of water here. You, you are, uh, yeah, the palate, definitely the edge goes to the maker's mark. Hmm. Um, finish. It's hard to tell. Let's see here. I'll just go with finish. I'm going to go maker's mark first. This just means you got to have both of them. <laughs> and they're so affordable, why wouldn't mm -hmm. you? Because you're exactly right. I'll let you go if you're ready. Buttered, fresh, cinnamon roll. Mm -hmm. Maker's Mark. Mm. Yeah, enough said on my end. Mouthfeel. The feeling on your palate and in your cheeks, I like the Maker's Mark. It just feels richer, thicker. They're both delicious all the way through. I get a lot of the similar notes I've explained, but I love the buttered popcorn finish of the Wellers. Hmm. That's where I land there. Hmm. So I don't detect that much difference in the finish. I'm going with the palate and the Maker's Mark gets my edge here. Got it. So Why would you have both on the shelf when you're looking at, well... $24 for the regular bottle. Mm -hmm. The handle wasn't much more. I think it was like 36 bucks. I got it on sale. Usually around wow. 40 or just under, you can get the yeah. half gallon. Yeah, so I was like, got to get that in. You are right. You've been saying this has kind of been almost your go-to. Haven't you been saying you've been kind of going to it a little I more often? I didn't want to give any of that away. Oh, well, never mind. He never said it. You told me <laughs> it's dusty and you don't even know where it is on your shelf. But yeah, $18 in our area for the Wellers, a half gallons of that, you can pick up for $33 here. Um, both good. I like them both. Yeah. Um, my edge goes to the maker's mark here All side right. by side. All right. I'm saying get them both. Yeah. <laughs> get them both and get the handle. I've got them both at home now. I, I brought this one over. I had this at home. I also have Maker's Mark at home, so I just had. No, I will give. I, know, I wanted to wait until we did this to try them side call. by I'm, side. I'm giving a nod to the packaging to Maker's Mark. De I yeah, love definitely. the red wax. Definitely. I know they patented it. There are folks that drink whiskey once a year that are like, I, I like that Maker's the whole wax thing. Yeah. <laughs> The dripping of the wax, the, the the people that have gone that aren't even whiskey fans that have done the bourbon tour, and they this guy said there's all these old ladies dipping, and I guess when they dip their 1,000th bottle, not dipping tobacco, they do you what's said, called... You've used the term old ladies before. I don't this think guy said they were old ladies. I don't think Maybe so. there's one lady there that's young, so I'll give you the nod, <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> but he said most of them were in their 80s and retired but when they hit their thousandth bottle they do what's called a slam dunk he said oh. he got, he, this one lady just went boom and it was buried all the way down to the and he's like what was that she goes that was my thousandth and every thousand they do a slam dunk and now it makes me look even if i'm not buying makers i go look to see if there's a slam dunk bottle on the shelf and every once in a while i see one i'm like i know what that is hmm. that was an old lady <laughs> who slammed it <laughs> What do we got for a traveling dummy? Oops. I see Jason Whiskey. Why? No, Whiskey Jason. J Whiskey Jason. Yeah. Yep. Well, sorry. Yeah. I went with a different Jason. Two Jasons. <laughs> Not that Jason. <laughs> and I zoomed in here a little bit and it won't let me zoom That's back out. That's funny that Whiskey Wise stuck in my mind. Um, so, uh, Whiskey Jason. Yeah. Yes. We had him on a live stream a while back. He's in Germany. Right. He went and toured. We got a bunch of pictures from him. Here's one. Uh, he was touring a lot of Irish whiskey distilleries. Yes. He's at the Teeling Distillery. I like Teeling. I love Teeling. And yeah, what I, the only whiskey. thing I love more than Teeling is Jameson. Whiskey Jason's beard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a man beard. He looks like he shaves one day. This is probably like eight hours after shaving. He looks like Gillette would call this him and go, we got a brand new blade. It's five blades. We don't want you to test it. If it can hold up to your beard, we're going live. I think this is Jason's <laughs> five o'clock shadow. No, I think that's like nine in the morning. He just shaved <laughs> and it's already in. It's already back. <laughs> and he's got one of our Caps 2 coins holding up there at the Teeling Distillery. And he's wearing his, chant, his uh, shirt, right. which is Whiskey Jason. Boom. Check out Whiskey yep. Jason. He knows how to market. He does. He Smart. got some free advertising. Yeah, the shirt looks there. slightly like I must open the shirt a little bit <laughs> and show it. Yeah, which you should. We'll do that all day long. 
So very good. And I love the round window at Teeling. Okay. I, I don't That's know. It's a great. There's not a lot of round windows out there. It's like a porthole. Is it porthole or portal? Porthole. Porthole. Yeah. Sounds dirty. Okay. <laughs> uh, go to scotchtestdummies.com. Uh, support us on Patreon. Mm. Everything helps. Uh, October 19th, 20th is coming up. Our 50th anniversary. Uh, we got an events tab on our webpage. You can check that all out there. It's going to be fun. We're uh, going to hang out. Cask four coin. These are cask three. We only got like eight left. Almost gone. Almost gone. Eight no, left. By, by the time this airs, right. they're probably right. gone. Right now we've got 20, but you by can, the time this airs, it'll be... Maybe they're gone. You can go pre-order your Cask 4 coin. We have a special 4x6 print you will get signed by us with your pre-order of Cask 4. A photo of us signed. For probably a month. I think that's going to go till um, anybody that orders until September 18th. Excuse me, September 18th. We, we did the announcement August 18th on Cask 4. We usually get everybody a month to pre-order sure. and to get their... Load them in and so. then we do our mass mailing. Anybody that orders up until September 18th will get a free four by signed four by six of us with uh, a cask fork. Not so, your, not every cask fork coin, but right. the Just cask fork. The it's like an inauguration for the right. release. Yeah, someday it's a collector item. Maker's mark. <laughs> Very good. Own them both. That's what I say. Own them both. I agree. Scotch it, you Scotch got Salonja. Dumbass. Dumbass.